IP20N and IP20A overview. This module introduces the IP20N and IP20A main features and its position in the Saragon portfolio. This module will cover the following topics. The evolution of Saragon radio technology. The challenge of changing the network paradigms. IP20N and IP20A overview with Highlights of the IP20N radio. One rack unit and two rack units chassis. Radio options. RFU interface. IP20N hardware scalability with RMCB and RICD. TCCU. Chassis management and block diagram. Supported configurations in current Sarawas version. The IP20 platform provides a wide range of configurations to match the requirements of diverse network scenarios. It offers flexibility in choosing all outdoor, split mount and all indoor configurations to suit any deployment scenario. Powered by a software-defined engine and sharing a common operating system, Sara OS, the IP20 platform delivers ultra-high capacities while supporting any radio transmission technology and any network topology. IP20N, Saragon's flagship, offering high-performance, high-capacity and highly scalable aggregation node addressing the entire range of microwave backhaul applications. It is the ultimate solution for aggregation sites, high availability services, and long-haul connectivity. IP20N provides an innovative TDM and packet backhaul services aggregation solution that is designed to meet the challenges faced by operators building next-generation wireless backhaul networks for delivery of packet-based services. An IP20N system is based on a chassis, which is provided in sizes that fit a single rack unit or two rack units, and which contains five or ten slots for any mix of traffic and radio cards. This modular structure allows the gradual expansion of network nodes through the addition of line and radio cards. As follows, we will show some network topology examples and the places where it is recommended to deploy the different Saragon products. The IP20 family constitutes a single platform serving all radio transport technologies in any topology and any installation configuration. Here are some network topology examples where you may see the common usage of the Saragon products. This is a typical tree network topology where the highest capacity is provided by IP20N. This is a typical ring network topology. In cases where high capacity and high availability are required, it is recommended to deploy IP20N indoor units. Please note that IP20G, IP20GX, IP20S, and IP20F are interoperable over the radio link with IP20N. Also note that a radio link cannot establish between IP20C and IP20N, IP20C, and IP20F where the same product type must be at the both ends of the link. Saragon IP20N for Etsy market or IP20A for FCC market. This Saragon's high-capacity split-mount aggregation node has small footprint, high density and high degree of scalability and availability. IP20N is designed to accommodate future needs due to the high-capacity modular aggregation node that can be expanded as the network requires. What makes IP20N a great solution for all sorts of operators and customers? Can be integrated with the industry-first multi-core split-mount radio. It comes with a high-capacity design, it is capable of operating with radios ranging from 4 to 86 GHz, in high modulations up to 4K QAM and 112 MHz channel bandwidth for traditional microwave and IP20E or IP50E for E-band, with many and various radio configurations, including transmission techniques as multi-carrier, space diversity, XPIC and link bonding. Capable to serve any requirement across three, four, and even five generation cellular networks with high capacity interfaces available, all in compact one or two rack unit format for no single point of failure. IP20N chassis are available in one rack unit or two rack units versions, each of which supports a common set of cards for traffic, radio interface, and management. In two rack unit chassis, Two traffic and control cards, nose as TCC, for protected configuration, this card is the main component of the system, it's control the entire chassis as well as all traffic flows, the TCC card must be inserted in its designated place. 
HTCC contains at least 2 times 1 GB Ethernet combo interfaces, electrical or optical, and with TCCU are available 6 interfaces, with 1 GB or 10 GB capacity. There are 10 universal slot that may include various cards, based on the functionality, configuration and setup of the system, in the following slides we will review these cards as well. Up to 8 radio modem cards, NOS as RMC. RMCA, based on the same modem technology used in Saragon's Fiber IP10 series IDUs, including IP10G and IP10E. RMCA supports up to 256 QAM modulation, with ACM. RMCB, can be used with RFUC, RFUA, 1500HP and RFUHP radio units. Supports up to 2048 QAM modulation, with ACM, header to duplication. Multi-carrier ABC, XPIC and space diversity, IF combining or baseband switching. RFU interface, RICD, for use with RFUD or RFUS with integrated power over Ethernet and RFUD, HP powered by external DC power and with up to 4096 QAM modulation. Can be equipped with any of the following line cards, LIC. Ethernet, LIC XE4 electrical, 4XGE, with 1 GBE combo interface and 3 GBE electrical. RJ45 interfaces, only in slot 2 and 12. Ethernet, LIC XE4 optical, 4XGE, with 1 GBE combo interface and 3 GBE optical, SFP, interfaces, only in slot 2 and 12. Ethernet, LIC XE10, 1 optical 10 GBE, only in slot 2 and 12. TDM, LIC T16, 16E1s or 16T1s. TDM, LIC 155, 1 channelized, STM 1. TDM, LIC STM 1 or OC3, RST, 1 STM 1. In two rack unit chassis, the power distribution card or PDC cards are redundant one to each other. The PDC card must be inserted in its designated place in the chassis. One PDC card is sufficient to power up the entire IP20N. Two additional components are Filter tray, optional, is used to protect the system from dust, has a designated place at the left side of the chassis. Fans tray, incorporate four fans inside, has a designated place at the right side of the chassis. In a one rack unit chassis. Single traffic and control card, TCC. TCCB series with 2 times one GB Ethernet combo interfaces, electrical or optical, or TCCU with 6, 1 or 10 GB Ethernet interfaces. Up to 4 radio modem cards, RMC, or 4 RIC-D cards. RMCA, based on the same modem technology used in Saragon's Fiber IP10 series indoor units, including IP10G and IP10E. RMCA supports up to 256 QAM modulation, with ACM. RMCB, can be used with RFUC, RFUA, and 1500HP or RFUHP radio units. Supports up to 2048 QAM modulation, with ACM, header to duplication. Multi-carrier ABC, XPIC and space diversity. RFU interface, RICD, for use with RFUD or RFUS with integrated power over Ethernet PoE and RFUD, HP powered by external DC power and with up to 4096 QAM. Can be equipped with any of the following line cards, LIC. Ethernet, LIC XE4 electrical, 4 GB ports, with 1 GBE combo interface and 3 GBE electrical, RJ45 interfaces, only in slot 2. Ethernet, LIC XE4 optical, 4 GBE ports, with 1 GBE combo interface and 3 GBE optical, SFP, interfaces, only in slot 2. Ethernet, LIC, XE10, 1 optical 10 GBE, only in slot 2. TDM, LIC, T16, 16E1s or 16T1s. TDM, LIC, 155, 1 channelized, STM1. TDM, LIC, STM1 or OC3, RST, 1 STM1. IP20N1 rack unit holds a single power distribution card, PDC, with 1 or 2 DC inputs. Two additional components are... Filter tray, optional, is used to protect the system from dust, has a designated place at the left side of the chassis. Fans tray, incorporate four fans inside, has a designated place at the right side of the chassis. IP20N or IP20A offers two different options based in the way that communicate with the radio units. RFU interface-based RFUs. These RFUs are connected to the IDU over optical fiber or electrical CAT, 5 or 6 cable using a RIC-D card. RFUD and RFUDHP are multi-core radio units, 
means that you have two radio carries in a single radio unit. For use with RFU DHP it is needed external DC power for power the RFU. RFU interface, RIC D, when is utilized with RFUD or RFUS you have available integrated power over Ethernet capabilities. In case of RFUD, HP need to be powered by external DC power. All the mentioned RFUs can operate up to 4096 QAM modulation. In the case of IF-based RFUs, these RFUs use RMCA or RMCB to interface with the IDU via coaxial cable. The RMCB can be used with RFUC, RFUA, 1500HP and RFUHP radio units. Supports up to 2048 QAM modulation with ACM header to duplication. Multi-carrier ABC, XPIC and space diversity, IF combining or baseband switching. As was already mentioned, the hardware options within IP20N and IP20AR. RFU interface, RICD, for use with RFUD or RFUS with integrated power over Ethernet and RFUD, HP powered by external DC power supporting channel bandwidth up to 112 MHz and 4K modulation. The RMCB can be used with RFUC, RFUA, 1500 HP and RFUHP radio units. Supports channel bandwidth up to 56 MHz and up to 2K QAM modulation, with header to duplication. Multi-carrier ABC, XPIC and space diversity, IF combining or baseband switching. All the Saragon RFU supports adaptive modulation ACM. Special case is the RMCE that is used to operate only with the legacy evolution RFUs. The traffic control card, TCCB series or the new TCCU, provides the control functionality for the IP20N, IP20A or IP20 long-haul systems. It also provides Ethernet management and Ethernet traffic interfaces. The TCCU for IP20N is the new traffic control card that complements the TCCB series, available for use with the same chassis as IP20N, IP20A or IP20 long-haul configuration chassis in one rack unit or two rack unit systems and will introduce a new standalone concept, not need of additional cards for systems up to 4 plus 0 with RFUD. More information about TCCU in a separate modules and training courses. In the screen is showed the IP20N or IP20A indoor unit block diagram and as you can observe in the diagram, the communication between all the cards is done via the backplane. The management of all the cards and traffic distribution is performed by the traffic control card, TCC. Depending on the type of TCC card, TCCU or TCCB series, are the available traffic capabilities and permitted configurations. The IP20N or IP20A supports a widely configuration options based on the type of TCC card and the type of radio interface cards, either RICD or RMCB as you can notice in the screen. Only the most common configurations are showed and the needed radio card RMC or RIC-D is highlighted. Depending on these cards are the radio units that can be used in order to use specific configurations. There is available a new type of configuration that increase the link capacity up to 30 gigabits per second and allow the integration with up to four all outdoor units additional to RFUs. This option is available only with TCCU that is the one performing the traffic distribution, identified as the main unit. This type of option is called layer one link bonding. As a summary, in this module we have discussed about the evolution of Saragon radio technology, the challenge of changing the network paradigms, IP20N and IP20A overview with highlights of the IP20N and IP20A radio terminals, one and two rack units options, radio options, RFU interface, the hardware scalability RMCB and RICD, TCCU, chassis management and block diagram, were mentioned also some of the supported radio configurations and we mentioned the late innovation related to capacity, the layer one link bonding option. Thank you for your attention.